SpaceX has received more good news as the FAA has given approval for the resumption of Falcon operations. An exciting update has also emerged regarding the X-37B. Join us as we begin the countdown to Flight 5, highlighting key developments featured in today's NR Studio episode. Don't miss the latest insights and updates. We are in the final hours leading up to Flight 5, a highly anticipated event that has been months in the making. The excitement is palpable as we approach this major milestone. In recent days, there has been an uptick in activity with SpaceX successfully completing the full stack of Flight 5 hardware. This milestone marks a significant step forward in their ongoing project. On the morning of October 11th, SpaceX achieved a major milestone by successfully lifting Ship 30 onto Booster 11. Both pre-stages were equipped with Flight Termination Systems, FTS, and the stacking process, which took 40 minutes, went without any complications. This marks the completion of the third and final full stack of Flight 5 hardware, signaling its readiness for launch. The countdown has officially begun. SpaceX has revealed stunning images of Starship and its launch site, announcing that the vehicle is stacked and ready for its upcoming fifth test flight. We anticipate receiving regulatory approval with our departure scheduled for October 13th. Musk shared a SpaceX tweet with the exciting statement, Looks like Starship will fly this Sunday. The incredible creation is the largest and most powerful flying object ever built, with twice the thrust of the legendary Saturn V moon rocket. We'll try to capture it as it makes its way back to the launch site, utilizing its Mexilla arms, which are reminiscent of giant chopsticks, just like in the Karate Kid. Starship's immense scale and incredible capabilities have often drawn comparisons to the iconic Saturn V rocket, but to truly establish itself as the epitome of modern space exploration, Starship will have to overcome a number of challenges, of course. However, it seems you didn't provide the text you wanted to rewrite. Please share the text, and I will be happy to help you with a better revision, including the necessary lines. One of the most noteworthy objectives is Musk's aspiration to bring the Super Heavy back to the launch site and subsequently capture it with the Maxilla arm. A successful catch would represent a significant milestone, further differentiating Starship from all other rockets. This accomplishment would solidify its unique position in the aerospace industry. Nevertheless, as highlighted by both SpaceX and Musk, obtaining regulatory approval from the FAA is a pivotal consideration before the flight can advance. In previous flights, FAA licenses have frequently been granted just prior to the launch, occasionally just a day in advance. The license for Flight 4 was awarded a mere 16 hours before takeoff. Consequently, it is plausible that the license for Flight 5 will be unveiled on Sunday morning. Several credible sources have corroborated this information. Notably, journalist Christian Davenport, a frequent commentator on FAA matters, remarked, From what I hear, subject to change, the FAA could issue a license to SpaceX as early as tomorrow. This would enable the company to launch Starship on Sunday. Similarly, Eric Berger, renowned for his precise updates, such as NASA's decision to rescue Starliner astronauts using Dragon, commented that we should anticipate SpaceX receiving its Starship launch license by tomorrow. The interval between Starship Flight 4 and the forthcoming Flight 5 has extended to four months and one week, marking a longer hiatus than previous flights, with the sole exception of Flight 1. This delay has been a significant source of frustration for SpaceX, which is actively working to minimize the time between flights in order to attain a more expedited launch cadence. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, has significantly contributed to these delays, resulting in the postponement of the original Flight 5 date to late November. This decision faced backlash not only from SpaceX and Elon Musk, but also from various members of Congress. Sure, please provide the text you would like me to rewrite and format with line breaks. Moreover, environmental agencies have played a role in the delay, further hindering the progress of Starship. While the delays have undoubtedly been frustrating, the rescheduling of the launch for October signifies a positive turn of events. A November launch would likely have positioned Flight 5 as the final Starship flight of the year. However, with an October launch on the table, there remains the possibility that SpaceX could execute another Starship flight before the year's end, particularly as the hardware for Flight 6 already appears to be prepared. 
Flight 5 is poised to deliver a series of pivotal moments that will undoubtedly captivate the interest of space enthusiasts. The liftoff stands as a pivotal moment, igniting a wave of anticipation and excitement throughout the countdown. This exhilarating experience marks the culmination of intense preparation and dreams reaching for the stars. As the flight approaches its conclusion, the re-entry and splashdown of Ship 30 will be meticulously observed. This careful monitoring ensures a safe and successful return. The foremost objective is to ensure that the ship lands intact and without any damage. Thanks to the recent enhancements made to its heat shield, a crucial advancement in the pursuit of spacecraft reusability. The moment that has captured the most anticipation in Flight 5 is undoubtedly the endeavor to capture Super Heavy, utilizing the Megazilla arm. This groundbreaking maneuver signifies a major advancement towards fully reusable rockets, a pivotal objective in SpaceX's mission to lower the cost of space travel. While the challenge is significant and may necessitate some adaptations, a successful catch would establish a new benchmark for the aerospace industry, showcasing the viability of rapid rocket reuse. As attention focuses on the Starbase and launch site, this event could prove to be as historic as some of the legendary flights from the past century. If you're prepared to embark on this monumental journey in space exploration, please type let's go in the comments. We encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to remain informed about SpaceX's groundbreaking journey. Your support helps us bring you the latest updates. Now let's transition to the latest updates regarding the operations of the Falcon rocket. Following a two-week suspension for our investigation, SpaceX's Falcon rocket has received official clearance to resume operations. On October 11th, the Federal Aviation Administration, FRA, announced that it had formally notified SpaceX of the Falcon 9 vehicle's authorization to resume regular flight operations. The FAA has thoroughly reviewed and endorsed the investigation findings and corrective measures proposed by SpaceX concerning the incident that transpired during the Crew-9 mission on September 28th. Furthermore, the FAA has confirmed the closure of investigations concerning two prior Falcon 9 incidents associated with Starlink missions, specifically on July 11th and August 28th. While the exact cause of the Crew-9 flight issue remains undisclosed, the FAA's recent involvement signifies a renewed momentum for SpaceX as it recommences its ambitious launch schedule. While no specific Falcon 9 mission has been confirmed following this announcement, it is anticipated that SpaceX's next significant launch will involve the Falcon Heavy, scheduled to transport NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft. Initially slated for October 10th, the launch has now been postponed to the 13th, coinciding with the eagerly awaited Starship Flight 5. Should everything unfold as intended, this weekend may mark a pivotal milestone for SpaceX, with the anticipated return of Crew-8 coinciding on the same day, amplifying the excitement further. Despite the two-week pause, SpaceX's long-term launch objectives remain steadfast. Nevertheless, the FAA's rigorous standards for mishap investigations ensure that any subsequent incidents will be subjected to meticulous scrutiny. With a little over two months remaining in the year, SpaceX is sprinting to achieve its ambitious goal of 148 launches. The countdown has begun. Before the suspension, the company had successfully completed 94 Falcon 9 launches, with approximately 50 launches remaining. Whether they can achieve this ambitious target remains to be seen. However, the company is strategically positioned to set new records. As SpaceX readies itself for the forthcoming Falcon Heavy and Starship missions, the company is poised to exceed last year's impressive milestone of 98 launches. With merely six additional Falcon 9 missions, they are poised to achieve a remarkable milestone of 100 launches for a single rocket type within a single year. The resumption of Falcon 9 flight operations heralds the onset of a potentially record-breaking year-end for SpaceX. This pivotal moment not only reinforces the company's dominance in the aerospace industry, but also sets the stage for unprecedented achievements. Stay tuned for the thrilling developments that lie ahead. Don't miss out on what's in store. In addition to the latest updates from SpaceX, there is noteworthy news concerning the Space Force and its X-37B space plane. Recently, the United States Space Force, USSF, made an announcement stating that the X-37B, which was launched aboard the Falcon Heavy last year, 
is set to execute a series of orbital maneuvers and deploy various components. The spacecraft will employ aerobraking, a technique that harnesses atmospheric drag to modify its orbit while effectively conserving fuel. This maneuver is an integral component of a larger initiative aimed at showcasing responsible practices in space operations. The space plane will adhere to space debris mitigation guidelines by securely detaching its service module, demonstrating how cutting-edge technology can facilitate sustainable space missions. The X-37B space plane boasts an impressive legacy of undertaking a variety of pivotal missions, including experiments aimed at evaluating the impacts of radiation. Additionally, it has played a key role in the testing of cutting-edge technologies for space domain awareness. Operating in highly elliptical orbits, the vehicle has demonstrated its significance in enhancing space-based capabilities. Regarding the latest mission, U.S. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall underscored the significance of the X-37B maneuver, noting that this innovative and efficient series of operations exemplifies the Space Force's dedication to pioneering progress while executing national security missions in space. This commitment to groundbreaking innovation is critical as the X-37B continues to push the boundaries of what is possible in the aerospace industry. Echoing Kendall, General Chance Saltman, Chief of Space Operations, underscored the strategic significance of this accomplishment. He commented, This pioneering maneuver by the X-37B is a significant milestone for the United States Space Force as we continue to advance our capabilities in this challenging domain. While the Space Force has not disclosed the anticipated duration of the current mission, the X-37B's impressive track record for longevity is certainly noteworthy. The vehicle is engineered to operate at altitudes ranging from 150 to 500 miles above Earth, demonstrating its capacity to maintain orbit for long periods of time, with some missions exceeding 900 days. This extended time in space has facilitated in-depth investigations into the effects of space radiation and environmental factors on a variety of materials and technologies advancing the capabilities of space exploration. Such research is critical to improving our understanding and readiness for future missions beyond Earth's atmosphere. After successfully executing the extraordinary maneuver, the X-37B will begin its experimental and test objectives. Once these criteria are met, the spacecraft will begin deorbiting procedures and return to Earth, utilizing its autonomous landing system to achieve a horizontal landing similar to a conventional aircraft. Given the sensitive nature of this mission and its significance to national security programs, the revelations about the X-37B are of great interest. As we anticipate the results of this mission, the Space Force's endeavors continue to advance the boundaries of innovation and operational excellence in the space field. That concludes today's episode. See you in the next episode.